If you see the world today, you can see a lot of people are crumbling. There is a disaster unfolding in California across several regions of that state. More than 20 major Nobody has experienced before. One of the things that we realize is that mental health problems are on the rise. And especially in today's climate where the stress levels are unprecedented, we need very holistic interventions and we need them quickly. I always had a heavy suicide ideation. It just wouldn't go away. So I'm wearing that mask and every day I'm just saying, hey God, you know, if you're not gonna help me, then just, I don't wanna be here. It seemed like I had nowhere to be and no reason to get out of bed. I decided I'm gonna go to work and I'm gonna prove myself. And uh, that's when I crashed. Mental illness can happen to anyone. It's all around us. Sometimes you can tell and sometimes it's totally invisible. We started Beautiful Minds about 10 years ago because there was a huge need for mental health services in this area. As we grew and we were able to hire a therapist and other prescribers, we were able to have more of a team approach. But even that wasn't able to fully address all of the challenges that we were seeing with our patients. And so we actually developed Beautiful Minds Wellness, which is the nonprofit branch of Beautiful Minds. And this is really the organization that helps to spearhead the community mental health education, prevention, and again, really trying to focus deeply into those root causes for mental illness so that we can help people realize their full potential for healing. The need for mental health in this area is actually a lot more than I ever sensed it would be. As a person who comes from urban areas, there was never, no offense with the county, because I live in Sacramento County, but it just wasn't enough. It was so sterile. When I met Dr. Bynes, I remember him telling me he wanted to build a facility. <laughs> I'm sitting in a place that is under construction, and I'm excited because truly this is a dream come true. Wellness Center it will actually give us a home uh, that we can invite people to. We can have workshops for our community where we can provide holistic services like massages, which I mean, our staff really is excited about. It's going to be hydrotherapy, which we call water shock therapy, the hot and cold. And there's going to be an expansion of our life and health coaching program. A place where, where people can come and feel supported. And all these modalities are going to work together to really help people to address those root causes for their mental health problems and achieve their best mental health. We need your help to complete this project. We have a budget of $120,000, but we really want to do this in a way that doesn't add a huge debt load or burden to the organization. And at the same time, we're stepping out in faith, realizing that this is a need in the unprecedented time that we're living. It's really exciting to have this possibility for the community here in Auburn. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of in shock, you know. I, I'm not in a bad way, but it's like, this is great. I've been seeing Dr. Bynes for so many years and we were just thrilled to hear that this was occurring now and that this would be available to people to help them the way it's helped me. If you want to see the world around you change, this is something that's absolutely necessary and it covers all the bases. You're not just covering people's mental well-being. We, we deal with the physical well-being too. We deal with the spiritual well-being. For this doctor to get this call to, and this mission to, to expound on his practice, it's going to be huge.